welcome back to my channel. My name is Lena and I'm so excited for today's video. I wasn't even gonna film today. I had no idea what I wanted to film. I am running out of daylight right now, but this is just, this is too exciting and too important. My awesome cousin sent me a package and my awesome cousin lives in Japan and she commented on one of my videos on Facebook and said, I should send you a mystery box of stuff from Japan. And I said, I would love it if you did that. And she delivered, she sent me this amazing box. I have no idea what's in here. This is in fact a mystery box from Japan. I ran to my mailbox because my roommate said I had a package and I realized, wait a second, that could be my Japan box. <laughs> it's my Japan box. So I'm just gonna dive right into this. Uh, my cousin, shout out to Lindsay. Thank you, thank you, thank you for sending this to me. This is incredible. I already love it even though I don't know what's in here. Um, she has lived there for the past few years as her husband works for the military overseas. I was supposed to go visit in January, um, but then tourism hadn't opened back up, so we couldn't go. So this is a huge consolation to not being able, I mean, Hawaii was awesome too, but this feels like a huge consolation for not being able to go visit the country. So because she was shipping international from a military base, um, she did have to disclose some of what's in here, so I read it. I have a vague idea, but that still doesn't spoil anything for me. All right, <laughs> I'm so excited, okay. <laughs> All right, so this is, this is the first look. The first thing I see is this Tokyo Disney shopping bag. I'm so excited. Mystery boxes are cool, but mystery boxes are even cooler when they're coming from the international parks, and I know this isn't stuff I can get in the States. So let's start with the stuff I can kind of see right here. It's in a clear bag. Oh, no. Oh, there's so much going on right now. Okay, I'm actually going to start with the Tokyo to see. This is overwhelming. All right, so here's... This is so overwhelming. Okay, here's what the bag looks like. We've got mini on one side and Mickey on the other. Um, and it, you can definitely tell this looks like Disney Sea, Tokyo Disney Sea in the background and the Tokyo Disney Land on the background here. Love it, love it. All right, first things first. I'm sorry, what? I don't even know what this is. You can't even see it. Look. Okay, let me stand up and show you this. Holy detail. 20th anniversary of Tokyo Disney Sea. This is stunning. You can see Mickey and Minnie in the park skyline there. Oh my goodness gracious. And there's really nothing on the back except Japanese lettering. Okay. I'm gonna guess these might be cookies. Maybe, so this is from September 4th, 2021, Tokyo Disney Sea, 20th anniversary, time to shine. Um, the joy and happiness wishes for your dreams to come true and hope for a bright future. This is the year for those these overflowing feelings to shine. Let your heart shine bright. That's what it says in English. The 20th anniversary celebration at Tokyo Disney Sea will turn your heart and smiles into sparkling stars. Okay, hang on, I wanna get this open. I bet they're cookies, but let's find out. Let's see. Mm. Yes, they are cookies. They are cookies. Okay, I see. Ooh, we got all kinds of special cookies in here. I don't know what any of these flavors are, but Lindsay has sent our family, well, she sent them for my dad, but we all ate them. She sent treats from Japan for my dad's 50th birthday, and they were all incredible. So I have to believe these are incredible too. So let's keep going. There's a lot in here. Next, we have, this is the last thing in this Tokyo bag, and we have another celebration for Tokyo Disney Sea. Seriously, the detailing is phenomenal. Time to shine, same detail as on the tin. Love it, love it, love it, this is so cute. I will reuse this bag at some point. This is amazing. Okay, there is stuff in here. It's sealed shut. And there's stuff written on here in Japanese that I can't understand, we're busting into it. So these are candies, We've our cookies, I don't even know. 
We've got pink ones. Go. We got pink ones with Minnie Mouse. And we have blue ones with Mickey Mouse. So, you know what? Let's pop one open. We're going to go with Mickey. Pop one open and see what it is. Because I don't know if it's a cookie or if it's a candy. So much in this box. Okay. Oh, Tanga thinks this for her. Ooh. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I have no idea what this is. Chocolatey, loggy thing. Mmm. 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 That's nice. Crunchy. Kind of like a hazelnutty. Um, almost like the Ferrero Rocher. I'm not pronouncing that right, but those chocolate pieces. Next, there is a plastic bag full of goodies. Let me swallow this. Next, this is also from Tokyo Disney. And it is a Minnie Mouse bracelet. So, there's Minnie Mouse on the front. And then it's braided on the back. Super cute. Next. So this looks like a pass holder. Not like one of the cute fluffy ones, but it's a lanyard, Tokyo Disney World, to Tokyo Disney Resort, with Mickey. It's got, look at that hand, and it's got the pole. So I have to believe that people use these in the parks to hold their park tickets and their passes, and they can just carry it with them. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna use it for, but you better believe I'm gonna use it. I could do the same thing in Disney World. If you have a card instead of a magic band, stick your card in here and you can use it for your lightning lanes. It's so cute. This is also from Tokyo Disney. I don't know if she got anything outside of Tokyo Disney, but we're gonna find out. This is also from Tokyo Disney. She's so stinging cute. This is a Minnie Mouse plush. She's got a hair bow and a cute little dress. I don't want to say the wrong thing. I don't know if this is a traditional dress. I don't know if this was special for the 20th, but either way, she's so cute. And then here's the back of her little bow safety pin that I could wear as a brooch or a little boutonniere, or I can use as a keychain, or I could take both of them off and just use her as a little decorative plush, but she's, she's so cute. Okay. I can't let Tanga get it. Tanga will eat, Tanga likes plush, and I don't want, this, that, she's not eating that one. Next. Well, these are so fun. These are so fun. These sunglasses, you can't really tell in the ring light, but this glass says life's a stage, and this one has Minnie Mouse through the frame. You can probably see it when I have better light. And then here's the arm. With Minnie Mouse. Oh, these are so cool. And then the other one. Mm, mm -mm. I love them. I love them. I'm obsessed. I I'm obsessed. These are so cute. I will wear these all the time. Keep rolling. There's still so much stuff in here. A toothbrush. <laughs> this is hilarious. So this is clearly something you get when you stay in a Tokyo Disney hotel. So you've got Pioneer Mickey. So I have to believe if you stay at that hotel, you get this. And I know she's been to Disney a couple times. I don't know if she went recently to pick this stuff up or if she has friends who went recently to pick this stuff up. But now I've got myself a Japanese toothbrush. I will absolutely use this toothbrush. All right. The Disney hotels in the States don't give you toothbrushes, and I really wish they would. I just think that's so smart I'd be able to pack lighter, but. Okay, we've got Mickey! Ooh, we got Mickey in his fancy clothes too. I have to believe, you can let me know in the comments. I, these look like traditional Japanese outfits. Let me know what these are inspired by. I have no idea if, they're, if this is all for the 20th celebration or not, but I'm obsessed. He also has a keychain with this little symbol here. There we go. He's got the little pin. It's amazing. The detail is crazy on just a tiny little plush. The detailing is insane. So now we've got the two together. They're the cutest, they're the sweetest. They're gonna be decorating my new house. Okay, we just keep going. This just keeps going. 
We have another toothbrush, but this one's pink. We have a pink celebration toothbrush. I love it. When I travel next time, I should bring that with me because I'm, I think there's some toothpaste in here too. I think there's this little pouch here. I think there's toothpaste too. It's genius. Okay, we're still rolling. Oh my goodness, I have a third toothbrush. My teeth are gonna be clean. It's just a good reminder to call the dentist because I really need to do that. Okay. <gasps> There's a headband. I wear headbands in every video. <laughs> so it's not ears, but it's so cute. <laughs> it's a Snow White massive bow. I love it so much. So it's got her signature on there too. Look at that. Oh, it's, so, it's so cute. This is from the parks. So I actually... As of like right now, I'm re-watching Once Upon a Time, and so I get, I'm addicted to those characters in that show. So, you know, Snow White is one of the main characters, so the timing of this is absolutely perfect. All right, this doesn't match my t-shirt or else I would keep it on. I'm going to make sure the dog doesn't start eating all these goodies. I'm obsessed. Okay, we're going to keep going. We're going to keep rolling. So we got a keychain here. Oh my goodness. This says 35, so this might be the 35th anniversary of the Tokyo Disney Resort. I'm going to assume so. So it is a beaded Mickey head. It's got a charm in Japanese, which I'm going to assume means 35 years. And then it's got this tassel underneath it. Like, how cute is this? This will probably hang from the rearview mirror in my car. I love this. This is... So cute. Again, you don't find things like this in Florida or in California, and I really wish you could because this stuff is incredible. Ooh, we've got pins. I'm not a huge pin trader, but I don't, I'm so excited. These are, okay, these are perfect. These are so simple for, for the two parks. I love them. I love them. Three for Tokyo Disney. And then one for Disney Sea. Justice for Disney Sea, they should have had two and two. But you know what? Wow, who am I kidding? These are amazing. There's just there's just so much going on. There's still a few more things in here. Okay. This next one. These look like cell phone charms. I think these are cell phone charms. These are definitely cell phone charms. I don't know where I'm hooking this to my cell phone, but. Just wait, this is pretty exceptional. Little... I'm going to pull them out of the packaging so you can see them here, because this is, this is awesome. Music-themed cell phone charms. They all say Disney Rocks on them. Tokyo Disney Resort, and then it's guitar picks. Daisy, Donald, Minnie, and Mickey. This is like your cell phone headphone jack plug but it's got a Mickey head on it. It's got a treble clef with a Mickey head in there. I'm obsessed. Uh, oh, music theory is killing me. 16th note with Mickey heads. We've got an 8th note with a duck bill. And another 8th note with a daisy, daisy head. Um, if I got any of that wrong, please don't slam me in the comments. I haven't taken a music class since high school choir uh but this is incredible again i i don't know what i'm doing with these but i will figure it out because they're they're perfect they're absolutely perfect okay we've got a few more things in here we're gonna go with the one that i can obviously see which is a cutie little mug this is perfect for my espresso we have chip and dale here tokyo disney sea driving a boat cuties and then we have Donald fishing on the other. This is so cute. Oh, and there's something on the inside, little fishies on the inside. This is adorable. Now, I, I have to believe this is a normal size coffee cup or just a slightly smaller size coffee cup, but we're so used to having these jumbo coffee cups here in the States that this just feels unusually small, but this, this is probably pretty standard. This is adorable. And there's another mug in here all wrapped up. It's Christmas. It's Christmas. 
Hi, Christmas is my favorite holiday. No contest. I listen to Christmas music year round. I would always celebrate Christmas if it were, if it were socially acceptable. This is vintage. That one might have been too. Vintage throwback. It says Christmas fantasy 2011. I was 13 years old at the time. We got Pluto and Daisy and Minnie and Mickey and Donald. This is so stinging cute. And there's a character hiding, it's Goofy. Goofy's hiding behind the sticker, but I'm not gonna worry about taking the sticker off right now. And then on the inside, there's a little detail up at the top there with little elves. I wasn't sure if it was Chippendale, but they're elves. This is so cute. This is adorable. This will go out with my Christmas display when I decorate for Christmas. This is most definitely gonna find a home. Okay, a couple more things in here, looks like. Two last items, oh, three last items, okay. This one is a Disney Resort Cruiser. So this is also Christmassy themed, and I'm wondering if this is one of the buses that you take on Tokyo Disney property. This is what the box looks like. Super cute pink purple holiday, love it. Let's open this up. It's definitely like a matchbox car. I'm, I'm obsessed. Matchbox cars aren't even this cool. Okay, this deserves a full stand. This is amazing. So it's got Mickey head, and all, uh, Donald and Daisy snowmen, and then Mickey and Minnie snowmen. I love how they pair Donald and Daisy with Mickey and Minnie all the time. We don't get that in the States. <sighs> Little gold hubcaps. I think these windows are see-through. There's even some fireworks on that window right there. Look at Mickey and Minnie snowman driving the bus. Amazing. And then here's the other side, same type of deal. Here's the back. Look at that Mickey head window on the back. And look at the top of this bus. Stop it. Stop it. I literally can't even. And here's the underside of the Tokyo Disney Resort. Why is this, uh, why is this one of my favorite items? This is insanely cool. Like it's just a little matchbox car, but it's Christmassy and it's got some insane detail that like my giant monorail doesn't even have this much detail. I'm, I'm in love with this stuff. Okay. Okay, so we got two more, no, yeah, two more items. This one is from Unique Low, which there is one of those at Disney Springs, not for sale. Premium masking tape, ooh, it's washi tape. Premium masking tape, it is some frozen washi tape. You can see it there. I'm gonna pull it out of the packaging. I'm so sorry for this lighting. I just, I couldn't help myself but bust into this box. So you can see very, Vaguely, you've got them hugging right there on an all set, and then you got the profile there too. The silhouette, not profile, is the silhouette there too, and it just repeats all the time. Super cute, super, super cute. Okay, one final item. Wow, this box has been incredible. Okay, Lindsay, you uh, did yourself. <gasps> okay. We have Mike and Sully. Mike and Sully. More Mike and Sully. If this is not a deck of cards, I'm gonna be so upset. But I'll still be okay one way or the other, but I actually collect decks of cards whenever I travel to new places, I get a deck of cards. So I'm really hoping this is a Japanese deck of cards. Okay, gotta open it up and find out. I'm so excited for this. It's, a, it's a cards of sorts, but I don't know if it's its own game or if it's a standard deck of cards, let's find out. Moment of truth. Yes, yes! It's just your regular old deck of cards. The inside looks like a regular deck of cards, so it's not like they're decorated or anything, but that's totally fine. But then the outside has these Mike and Sully. They're all the same, but I love it. I love it. As someone who collects decks, I literally collect tons and tons of decks of cards. <gasps> Joker, look at that, icing on the cake. Icing on the cake. <sighs> I made it to the bottom of the box. It took a long time, but that was a thrill. 
Lindsay, you seriously outdid yourself. I am so incredibly grateful for this box. These items are amazing. They are things I most definitely would not be able to get my hands on here in the States. Um, whether I bought them online from Tokyo or like I can't even get similar items in the parks here in the States. I love these. These are gonna find a home on display somewhere. The deck of cards is perfect for me. Um, I would have never picked this out on my own, but I this is one of my favorite items. Um, this is going to hang in my car. The coffee cups will be used. I use coffee cups all the time. They'll go out for decoration. The cookies, I'm sure, are delicious. The candy was delicious. We can't forget about the pass holder and the bracelet. And I, this is the most perplexing thing to me. Do people in Japan still use cell phone charms? And if so, how? Because I don't, I'm not quite sure how to hook this up to my phone. So if you know how to attach one of these to an iPhone that doesn't have a little slot thingy for a cell phone charm, please let me know how you use them because I, I want to figure it out. There's so much going on here. Like the mystery boxes, the mystery Disney boxes that you purchase online could never. I... This is, this is amazing, amazing, amazing. And yeah, I really don't have words for how awesome this is. I'm humbled by it because I didn't ask for it. She just sent this to me just for fun, just because. So once again, Lindsay, I'm so grateful for this. Thank you for taking the time to pick everything out for me. I am obsessed with all of it. I'm, I'm, yeah. We're just gonna end this with me speechless because this was so Cool. So, thank you for watching. Thanks for joining in and checking out all the cool Japanese swag that I've got now. Um, I appreciate you guys stopping by and watching this video. Give this video a thumbs up. I got more coming, so you might want to subscribe. I've got some cool videos coming. I'm so excited. Oh, I've got so many good things coming up. So, yeah, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.